Yes, sir. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. What's good? Appreciate y'all pulling up again. It's early with it, too. Man, I'm sleep schedule off, but I'm going to get it right. <laughs> I'll be up doing other, like, working and stuff. Not, like, like job-wise, just other stuff I'll be doing. And, you know, I don't know. I find myself low-key napping a little bit more now. I'm starting to lie. I'm not liking that. I'm trying to get out that habit, but it's low-key helping me because, like, I have more energy just to just, I just, I'm up now. So, I was like, yeah. Reason I'm saying it though, cause shout out Bree, Asia, Rachel, Sam, damn, Eric, if I forgot you, I'm sorry, but pretty much, who else? Nah, damn, if I forgot someone, I forgot some people. But look, I know I be telling y'all, pull up to record, I be, I be slumped, I be, I be, I be slumped too, you know, for it. But look, y'all see what I be doing? I be up, <laughs> I be up still. Mm-mm. So my apologies, y'all. I love y'all. Please forgive me. <laughs> don't, don't understand. But we up early with it. And I was going to talk about, I guess, um, some people feel like their lives are, like, really, 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 like, great. And some people are living their, their best life, you know. Some people are. I'm not hating against that. That's what it is. But some people really just, really just think they live in a, their best life. And it's, like, all because they base it off of, they, like, off of, off of, the of the world, social media, let's say, right? They're like, okay, I'm doing, I'm taking these little trips, so I'm doing this and that, so I just have to doing that, so I'm on the same level, so I gotta be doing good, so my life's gotta be based out of this. It's I'm on I'm on that scale with them, and it's like, are you though? Because like, are you going broke to do that, or are you are you you know fucking people over to get where you gotta go? Because like, you know, Joe could have got there because he earned to get there. You got there because, you know, you lie to get there. So it's like your life you're really living is like, or you type person, you know, I was like this at one point, you kind of live in like, as if like your life is guaranteed for the next day, you know? Like you think life is just okay. No issues, no worries. Yeah, I'm nothing to worry about right now. Oh, and the next day, the next week, next year, shit, couple years. Or you are you feeling even entitled, like as if it can never be you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not thinking, like, oh, I got time. Or never even thinking, like, like you know, are you feeling t- as if, like, you could, it can never be you. Like, you never even thinking now, you you, you, wait, you, could, you don't want, you won't wake up the next day, for a second. Like, you know you're going to wake up the next day. You know everything you got in, going on is guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? You feel like, you feel like, well, I'm surprised you shouldn't. You shouldn't feel living like if you're guaranteed next day, even though you are. Yeah, I'm not saying live, don't live in fear. You know what I'm saying? Of course, like, don't live in fear. But at the same time, you can't sit here and live as if, like, you know, nonchalant or careless. Because, you know, I'm just putting a little fact to you. 108,000 people die each day. Guaranteed. That's, well, not guaranteed, but that's, like, the that's like the number that's happening right now. You can Google that. You can, it's Googleable. Yeah, I said it. It's Googleable. <laughs> Google it. 180, 180K. Don't make it. They don't make it each day. You know what I'm saying? 180 people, 80 people, right? And you sitting here like, oh, you know what? There's a lot of people in the world, but they they probably do the same thing. So they're probably thinking like, shit, I'm only 17. I'm only 30. I'm only 30. And then boom, they didn't make it. Football player, uh, NFL player, he, just, he retired a couple years ago. Demarius Thomas, he died. He was only 33. You know what I'm saying? Young dog. Yeah, he was shot, but still he was only in his 30s. So it's just like... Showing you like you're not guaranteed, like you know, even your own city not guaranteed. So why are people living like? Why do you feel you live? Why why are we doing that? You're saying here, I just told you some crazy stats, and you're saying just like, man, I was really living like it can't be me until it is you, and then when it is you, it's too late. Now you're six feet deep. Nobody's really caring anymore. Yeah, they had the funeral, but everybody kept the move. What would you leave right now? Like, what, what, if you if you were to die, what would you leave right now? Your family, your kids, your loved ones. So even your significant other, you know, say you and your family beefed out, or whatever, and you just have a, 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 you know, a girlfriend at the time, a boyfriend that you've been dating for a couple of years. You're like, you know what? I love this person. Here you go, type of shit. What are you gonna leave them though? You know, what would you be able to leave them? I'm like, like, could you leave them anything at this time? What do you have to live? Like, what do you have to give right now? Like, life's unexpected. That's what I'm saying. Like, have you ever been at an unexpected funeral? You know, this year, have you been to one? So far, I've been the one this year. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, 
it's just when you you don't expect that you know if you get there and you're there you're like wow like i never i never thought such and such or i never never expect that from i never think that it would be it could happen to them or you know and they thought the same thing and now they're not here because they thought like everybody else they're like oh yeah it can't be me it can't be me until it's you And you're sitting here living life, you know, kind of like guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, life's okay. Life's good. Is life really good? Are you really living your your, good, your best life? So, you know, you have to fear that you don't talk about they missed out on so much. You know, and then you really sort of sit there. You sort of think about your life. Like, damn. You just said, you know, you paid your respects. You sit back at your, you know, in, the, in your seat. And you're like, fuck. This, mother, this, this person here, you know, is gone. They're not here no more. They're going to be no thing. And yet, it's like, you know what I'm saying? And you just, now you start sitting there, you start pondering, you start thinking about your own life, going back, thinking about a whole bunch of all the memories, all the people you might have fucked over, and then you're like, damn, like, you know, my life's not guaranteed, here I am, living my life's guaranteed. And not knowing that your life's like in a, in a shitty place right now, or you might think you're in a shitty place. So you start to think, hmm. Where am I at in my life? You know, what have I done? What would I what would I leave? You know? Then the motivation hits, you know, it hits people. It does. People start waking up. Oh man, I'm not nowhere near where I need to go. Like what the fuck? They're not nowhere near they're supposed to be. They feel like they're just complacent. They're lazy. They're, you know, lacking motivation. It's just a bunch you know what I'm saying? So the motivation hits people. You know, some people may change, you know. But they kind of like it's you know, they forget and they go back to being comfortable. Let's just say, you know, let's just kind of say they go back to being in that complacency because they're like, you know what? I'm been, I was doing this. And I didn't see the results. I didn't get that instant gratification. So or they got that fear. The fear kicks in. So they go back to being comfortable where they were. But being comfortable then just keep you there until it's the end. And you're going to be living there like what the what is, you know. So we, we kind of put that fear behind our thoughts. And like, you know, they're there. Where we just don't want technology to say, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we get comfortable and we go, but the reason I'm being comfortable because, it's like, we know we're living in fear. We don't want to acknowledge it. We don't want to, like, like we don't want to really come to, like, why are you not doing that? Why are you not? You're fearful. What are you fearful of? The criticism. Maybe the hate, the failure. What if, Just simply, like, what if I do it, but I don't get where I want to be with it? I, I, I'm successful, but it's just not, not to my standard or not to my what my, what my dream was. So you go to being comfortable, you stay in that bubble, you stay where you're, you know, I'm, I'm doing pretty cool here, I'm just going to stay here. No, you could be doing more, you should be doing more. So then, you know, I guess that fear is there, so I ask you now, you know, out of 1 through 10, you know, 10 being the best life anyone has, like, you know, ever lived, you know, like a man car, like, you know, 10, it's like, you know, you're living, you're, like, you're doing, like, you're just, you're living, you're doing what you want, you're... Changing the world, let's say, and you're make you're pretty much making history, right? Your name's even a history book. And then one being like the bond of barrel. <laughs> you know, let's just say like you just life's just life's not good. You're down bad, bro, you know. What would you rate yourself right now? What would you rate your life? Lifestyle habits, you know, education wise, financial wise, or just mentally or you being a person. What if you had a habit of lying? Are you still lying? What if you had a habit of cheating? Are you still cheating? Like, anything. One through ten. How many places have you traveled? You know, how, how many things you checked off your bucket list? How many things have you, how many goals have you knocked off right now? Yeah, you might be like, well, I'm only this age. Okay, cool. But you thinking like that, and guess what? You're going to create a, a habit of like, you know what? You're, you're 17, and then now, then you're 22. Oh, I'm only 22. Now look at those, those, um, those five years that went by. You know what I'm saying? Between 17 and 22. What did you get done? You look back, you're like, damn, I didn't get too much done. All right, boom. Now 22, now you're 26. And now you're like saying, oh, I'm only 26. And you're like, damn. What I do from 22 to 26 now? And then you go back to the most from 17 to 26. Yeah, you're at different ages, different phases of your life. But at the same time, like, what do you really get it done? So now that's what I'm saying. What do you rate yourself right now, 1 through 10? Have you checked in your bucket list? Do you even have one? Do you have a bucket list? What goals have you accomplished? What have you done so far? Are you proud of Can you say, you know what? I'm fucking, I did this. I did that. I'll buy my damn side. I got it. Cool. If you really feel that way, cool. But if you know truly deep down inside, you're like, you know what? I'm not doing shit. And it's okay. I know I'm not. I'm, I, this is why I'm, I'm 
spreading the word, trying to wake people up. I'm like, not even like wait, like, but just let people know, like, hey, like, you're not alone. There's a lot of people right now. You know, more than I expect to listen to, to listen to my podcast and t- like, you know, I get feedback and let me know, like, yeah, like I was, a, you know, I was that's real shit. Like, I'm not the only one. You're not. It's a lot of people that probably feel the same way. So, you rate yourself, and you know what would you rate it one to ten? Have you took those risks, or have you lived in fear? You know, were you rated by others? Which one is it? Like, what would you change? So now you rate yourself. You're sitting here. You're like, damn. You know. All right, boom. You got your number. You say, now. <laughs> Let's get humble. Realistically and honestly, do you like that number? Do you love the life that you have? Let's be real here. That number you got right now, do you really accept that? I ain't going to put my business out there, God forbid. Somebody wrote a four. And it's okay, though, because you're being honest. You're being open. You're, you know you're being truthful right now. You're taking time right now to listen and sit here and be like, you know what? I know where I'm at. I know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy, but I'm not doing enough. I'm comfortable because I'm happy. Okay, yeah. And the emotions, they just, they're like roller coaster. That's why I try to just balance. I try to kind of like float, you know. I don't want to just always get, because you try, you reach a point of happiness, you try, you're going to try to maintain that. And it's hard because you're going to have some moments of like sadness and some moments of like fails and depression. You're going to lose loved ones. People are going to die. It's going to be death. So it's going to make you, you know what I'm saying? So you can't always just expect that level of happiness. So you kind of got to like float. You got to keep it good balance. So you get that number, um, or let's just say you're being, you know, open and you're like, damn, you know, I'm a six real shit. You know, some people think out there, they're like, you know, I'm an eight, I'm a, I'm a good eight, nine, then they think that, but no, bro, you're like a seven, six, you know, yeah, right, you cool. You know, you're like, damn, you know, you're like, damn, you know, <laughs> I haven't got anywhere. I haven't done shit. You know what I'm saying? Huge different. Being a six, and then you were you being realistic. I mean, I'm a six, and you thought you were an eight, right? Like, let's look, let's look, we're all like we're all imagery creatures, like looking at things, nice things. You you know, you think you were eight, and then you know, you get rate right, your picture goes around. Like, back, let's say back in like middle school and everything, back in the high school days, you know, say piece of rate your picture, you know, the, the TB on his rate, TB on his rate, TB on you know, come on now. I made me cringe just doing that, but anyways, <laughs> we all did it, but fucking uh. You're doing that right, and you get rated. You get rated a a, a six. You think you eight? Like this picture's flying at the freshest fit right now. Da, 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 woo, woo, woo. You drop that thing. You say, "Yeah, I'm gonna like this girl's pic." Or I'm like her comment. I'm like his comment, and I'm gonna like the status. And boom, boom, boom. So you like it. You post your thing out there. You're like, yeah, give me the give me the rate. Give me the TBH. Like, yo, you know TBH. You cool. You know I see you around school. You know, yeah, I thought so. You know, you really like a you know you like a seven. Five homie bags, you know, six, five, seven. You're like, what? You see what I'm saying? And you think you were at eight. It's a huge difference. Not a perfect, not a perfect. You're not perfect, but you know, you just know, like, okay, I know I'm at eight. Like, I know I'm not. I'm, like, I'm way farther better than that. You see what I'm saying? You know for a fact, like, you felt you should be way further better than that. You see? You say you think you're a six right now or five, but you're like, you know what? Eli, talking about that, you kind of make it good points. Like, I should. Yeah, you should be better than that. You want to be up there in that in that status. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you want to, you know, you look good, you feel good. Let's be real here. So now here, now we get to, how can we add? You know, so let's talk about, let's talk about your love. Let's talk about the life. How can we add to that number you picked? How can we make you go from a six out of 10 to an eight out of 10? Let's just say, you know, sounds a whole lot better, right? You know, wait, give me the rate. You, know, you sound like, you know, you, you was eight out of 10. You're like, ooh, shit, eight out of 10. Now I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm sexy. You know, then my life's good. You know, run out of ten, eight out of ten of lifestyle. My lifestyle. You think my life's a good life? You know, what I'm saying, but you know, you do what you do. You have a good life. You have a good. I see what you're doing. You know, you're living proof of it. You know, fights all that. We'll do. But then you get told, oh, yeah, you're just a six. It's like, damn, it's crushing almost. It's like shit. See, you're like, shit, I ain't shit. Then at this point, I'm, I'm just give me nothing. Then you're like, fuck it. <laughs> so, so now it's like, you know, so so. Well, think about yourself and, like, what advice would you give yourself right now? Like, I see, there's a split version of you right now. You know what I'm saying? And you right now, there's other versions to tell you, you. Like, let's just say, hey, they're about to split you, right? And you can tell yourself. You can get to tell the split version, like, hey, I, I, this is, like, my second chance. 
to like really just start new but i gotta i gotta tell you i gotta pretty much you gotta you can pretty much build yourself again in a way what you know what would you tell you you know what i'm saying what would you what would you what would you tell yourself right now like you're just as a new fresh you in the world what would you tell you right now to help you be the best you to keep you maintained maybe stay away from certain things you know what I'm saying, bro? Just stay away. Just don't even worry about that. Like, this stuff, that stuff. You know, this is cool. That's cool. But don't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, watch out for women. Watch out for men. You know what I'm saying? What would you tell yourself right now? And what would you tell yourself, like, yeah, don't even get relationships. Just don't, don't even worry about it. It's just not even worth it. Nobody's really here to date. I was dating a relationship, relationship anyway, for marriage anyway. You know? Invest. Invest in your craft. You tell yourself, hey, you're really skillful at this invested in you know you're good at playing a sport you're good at making music you're good at design you're good at you know you're good with technology you should be an audio engineer or something like that so would you tell yourself that you know save your money i would tell myself that right now save bro don't spend a dime it's not worth it <laughs> it's the only thing you, unless you're spending on your craft or it's like you're going like grocery shopping type of deal that's it it's not worth it These are the things you gotta like think about. It's deeper than just telling yourself, like, "Hey, take care." Of your, you know, take care, take care, take care of your mental. What do you mean by that? Hey, if you feel if you got some emotion, express it. You know what I'm saying? Wait on my t- wait on dating. Don't get don't even get a girlfriend. Don't get a boyfriend. What goals would you set yourself? Hey, set goals and set set reasonable goals and and check those all every day. Every day you wake up, make your bed, uh, make sure the trash is you don't know, check that off. That's so 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 simple because I just teach you your routine of just getting like that's not, if you can be, if you wake up and have your bed done you, you can, you're gonna get things done because pr- pr- most people make their beds accomplish and knock out little goals at the end of the day but if people don't make their beds they say they don't even get shit done they're pretty much just sol which is insane I know we gonna sleep back in there but still I mean it's just a quick little one two skip the mobile you know <laughs> so you want to get to the end. Um, you want to get to like the end and the end of this and not feel like, oh shit, I could have done that. You know, like you want to look back on this life as you're getting better. I had this opportunity and you want to take that, take those opportunities or you don't want to sit there and miss those or think about, you know, the check, uh, think about the, uh, checklist, the checklist that you made. Always keep that prioritized first. Always keep that up there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what would you, what would you look like? What would you look what what would you like to look like? Who you who you are? Who are you proud of? Who would you like to be a part of it? Would you like to go down history? Would you like to be make a statement on this earth? Like I use Kanye's example. Like everybody talks about but like what like this man's really trying to change the world. He's talking trying to fix the homeless crisis in Los Angeles. They had the worst homeless in the in the, in, in America, I think in the world, honestly. The worst homeless crisis, he's trying to fix that. And that's huge. Like, that'd be history. That'd be game changing. Elon Musk. You know, so these people like it's just you know y'all say have y'all things about them. We gotta say, but yes, these people are really trying to do like leave a mark. You see, how like their their lifestyle is not a six out of ten. You know, damn near a ten out of ten. These motherfuckers wake up and say, you know what? I want to do this, and I'm gonna do it. And they did that. So. Do you don't want to look back and miss out on like one of these ultimate success stories that you have, or these ult- this ultimate better in- impact that you have? But you gotta keep that checklist prioritized, keep that their goal list. If you were to tell yourself, what would you do? And that way, you can keep you know keep up with what keep up with what you want to and keep up with what you want to gain in life, and you never lose that passion of gaining what you want in life. I feel like every day you should always want to keep gaining and better yourself. And that's how you can, I feel that's how you kind of keep your life, keep progressing from being a six to an eight and an eight to a nine or eight point. You know what I'm saying? It keeps going. So now if you're six out of 10 right now, what do we got to do? What can we do right now to keep, you know, just keep shooting up like for real, like hard facts, you know? So over the next 365 days, you know what I'm saying? Coming, you know, coming up, you know, the years are over, you know, what do I need to do? What do I need to change? Is it your health? Um... You know, examples like you're not working out, you know, you smoke heavy, you drink a lot, you know, you got to do this in moderation, you know, too much is gluttony, you know what I'm saying? 
overdo it, and you, you know, that's what happens. You got bad consequences. You know, you're just not active in general. You're like, yeah, you just, you know, you're not doing any, no drugs or anything. You're not, you're not eating bad, but you're just not being active in general. That could be a problem. Just you eating and just sitting in the crib and just, you know, just booed up and laid up or just playing the game. That's, you know, that's not healthy. You gotta, you gotta get some, like, you know, a little, like a little hobby, like a little, something outside, and at least the gym or job for a little bit. Um, is you know, for example, it's my job. Is your job? You know, is it your fi- like your your finances? Maybe take a you know a whole year to you know to get right, but make a plan to create a movement of change going forward. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, you know what? I know that this job that I got, I need to you know I need to upgrade it, but it's not it's not bad. I just need a budget, or I just need to really just sit back and just you know maybe pick up a second job. Get you know ask for a raise. It's okay. Speak up. There's there's job yes if people are in a pandemic there's a lot of jobs out there there's still places hiring out there if you have let's say like me I know I got a decent solid job right now which is cool but I know I can easily pay my little side in the time that I have the side the time that I have on the side I can easily pay me a nice little side job and just boom 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 have double income three and three sources ain't coming out because well, you know I, tra- I you know how I trade and everything so it's like you know you just got to really sit here and. Create a movement of change, even just small change. It can be small, it's a small little step of change, but it's still a movement of going forward. And you know, it's only taking steps forward every day. You're not going backwards. That's that's what it is. The days you don't do nothing, you may feel like, oh, you know, I didn't do nothing, but I didn't do nothing bad. It's okay, yeah, that just they still didn't do nothing. So in a way, it's still bad because you did nothing. You know, nothing good, nothing bad. But I guess it was still nothing. So always do a small movement to keep going forward. Always keep find yourself. That uh, every day is um you're finding your purpose. You may not know it now, you know. You may not know who you are now. That's why you're telling yourself, like, you know what? I'm my life is pretty not it's not that bad. I'm like a seven, you know, seven point five. I just feel like I don't really know what to do with myself right now. I understand that, and we get there, and that's gonna come with time. But this is how you gotta start experiments. You gotta things that cure that cure that catch your eye. You know, curiosity kills a cat. The things that you find curious. See if you can like invest in that. See if you can like learn from that. See if that's something you can like that you like. It it could be the littlest things. You like taking pictures of nature. Like, you know, I like being outside and just looking at nature. Go out there, bring a camera with you. You might take some fire flicks. You know, you might see something. You, you never know. There's a lot of things that you can just start doing to build off and go further with it if you just apply. You know, just apply that pressure. Apply that you know to yourself part that pressure to yourself and hold yourself to that that standard that you have once you find that that's that thing that you're, you're, you're like you're like you once you find like you know what you the thing that like that you wake up to now you're like you know what when i go for work because you'll see you're not there yet let's when i get work i know what i'm gonna do i'm about to i got this this and this which that makes you happy it's like cool because when i want to be at my job i'm thinking about all right my next episode how i record boom what i need to get looking to see different equipment i'm all day so i'd be like low-key getting distracted at work so I'm like, let me tighten up you know it's just things like that because i you know i kind of know what i like to do what makes me happy so once you find this gonna come real real easy real quick it's kind of will open up your eyes more to the path you're going to start taking so now you have this checklist you need to mark it off and you need to uh start you know knocking this checklist out with what you listed you know whether it's family you know relationship with your kids uh, your mindset, your bank account, your job, your finances. There's a list that you told yourself that you're going to stick to for the next 300, you know. And it, it could be, I want to say make it too long. I, you could have put five to seven things. You could put it ten things. But even, so I know some, so I know before a couple years back, I made a list. It was like, I think it was like over like a hundred something things. But it was like a whole bunch of little stuff, right? And I was like, I'm going to just kind of like compound it on. Like I'm going to knock it out. But Every day I'll look at that list and it was like kind of cool because I'll be like, oh, I did that. I forgot. Boom. And I'll go back and I'll repeat it. And then some of those things I repeated became good. I was like, I'm, that's how I started reading more. That's how I started, you know, um, uh, being active. Like I started like swimming more. I, was, I like to swim. So I, started, I picked up swimming. Or I said, hey, I want to start. I need to like learn. I need to last year. So I was like, get back in school. So I picked up school again. That was actually cool. And I had to, took a semester off. And but it's just things like that that I created a list. That I stayed applied with because I had so much on that list that every day I looked at it, I was, it was like, some, oh, this is something new. I'm gonna, it's like it's like a little mission you create. Like it's like a, it's like your life. You just start creating your life for you because you know things you got to start knocking out. You set yourself up, 
And that's what you gotta do. Give yourself something to do. People don't have nothing to do. Give yourself something to do. Create a list of things that you feel like you, where you like, you know, I'm not doing shit. Let me create something that I need. Alright, let me find a craft. This I started sketching, getting the designing now. It's like designing clothes and stuff. I would be at work just doodling a lot, just gra- graffiti, different types of like working with different like you know, abstract like shapes and everything. I was like, this is pretty cool. And I was like, you know what? Let me see I could try to on my job, hop on the, the computer, start you know, adding on there, boom, now I just do that now. And I take time doing that. So it's all the things you can do to that you once you have this list on, once you you, you can keep on with and keep it up. So you got the list, you know. These are the things that you need to have the tunnel vision on now. The list you create. If it's a lot, a little bit, long, short, however you did it. But you got a ton of vision on the list you create. Like straight up just have like this vision of like, hey, this is where if you gotta tell your significant other you have one of your family, hey y'all, you know, for the next, you know, like two two like, you know, two months I'm about to be really just you know, this is my routine, this is what we're doing. Boom, 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 boom. And that's okay. That is okay. They gotta respect that. You should be you should be able to grow with your partner. It should be a two way hustle. It should be not a one way thing. You should be able to grow with the person you love and with the family you have if you have one. Or even with the person, even if they have you like together. Even you know what I'm saying? Hey, even if y'all just family. It's you and your brother. Y'all both bros or y'all both sisters. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sisters are your brothers and y'all just live together. So y'all t- or y'all just going back and forth just telling each other. Y'all go hold each other accountable like that. But this you got to tell me you got to have tunnel vision. Like, hey, family, hey, friends. Like, that's what I'm about to be doing for the next couple of times for the next you know year. This is what I'm about to be really on. So you might not hear from me or I might not be really going out like that. There's nothing against y'all because because I'm trying to save. Or I'm trying to work out. So I'm not going to eat out as much. So I'm not going to go out with y'all like that. It's no offense. It's just you got to. This is what you're said. This is the life you're creating now. This is your This is your lifestyle your life is like hey i see some of you guys you know eights nine sevens you know da, da, da. i'm like a four or five man you know my lifestyle's pretty fucked up you know i have a gut or i smoke too much or you know I'm, a, I'm i'm broke or you know what i need to go back in school I'm, i feel like i'm dumb as rocks you know i feel like i'm losing like my my my, my niche you know you know I, I need to get those relationships i need to start fresh I need to be single for like, self-love it's just things like that that you gotta tell yourself like oh i'm, I'm not there yet so I want to upgrade my life. So, yeah, I'm, about to, I'm like a six right now. I'm trying to get like an eight, eight and a half. You know what I'm saying? So, let me just do this for a little bit. And that's okay. So, you have a ton of vision on that. On that list you created. When things you get done. You need to get this from a six to an eight. Over the next year, you need to be the sharp. You have to have the sharpest on those things. You have to have the sharpest mind. You have to have that ton of vision like, you know, mindset I said. You got to stay focused. It's okay. Get greedy. Get selfish. It's You got to because we're not guaranteed time. You know, we take time for granted. Time is one thing we can't get back. The only thing we're guaranteed is life is death. That's one thing we're guaranteed. And you don't know when it's coming. That's one thing about time. The time is the, it's the most expensive thing out there because we spend it, but we don't know how much left we have. We don't know how much time we have left after we spend it. You know what I'm saying? We're willing to spend it, we're willing to spend it on people. We don't take that risk, you know what I'm saying? Want to work, you know what I'm saying? It's just something we're gonna really gamble away, but we don't know how much we have left because that's what you do, and guess what? Boom, lights out. So, get greedy if you have to. Get selfish right now if you need to. It's time to go. You gotta go. You know what you need to do. What you what you're at right now to get from the six to an eight, or shit to get the six out of eight to get the six out of ten to become an eight out of ten. Well, what does the what does that look like? Focus in on that today. Have the plan for the next 365 days, but focus on the day. So every day you, you focus on that day. You know you have 365 days. You know you have the next year. Don't focus too deep in the future. Just take it day by day. Focus on that day at that moment. But focus on what that day looks like. Every day you wake up, be okay, cool. I got three goals. I need to knock out these three things. I need to run two miles. I need to um, uh, meal prep for the week because it's Monday. And I need to read a ch- two chapters of my book. That's it. It could be something simple like that. You do that right. Then the next day you up. You say I need to read four chapters. I need to work. I need to run. Uh, still run two miles, and I'm gonna um do yoga. Right. You do that. Boom. Then it's Wednesday. All right. I'm not working. It's my rest day. So I'm gonna still do yoga. Boom. Still read my two. I'm gonna go back to just read my just two chapters. Boom. Um, and then I'm gonna add in you know something that you like. Like I like you like the game. So I'm gonna stream for a little bit. Stream for like just an hour. Boom. And then now you have your list every day. And you can start doing those things. You start just becoming, you know, things that make you happy. You're going to start having a routine. You're going to start growing. And your life is going to change with it. You're going to have a good, positive, more mindset with things. How you go for it. This will become like a big shift. 
a big positive change in the mind and like your overall like well-being it's just like it would just compound like every day because like you're just building like it's like a snowball effect just how you know like you do bad shit and people be like oh it's like snowballing over because like you didn't do that so look at that look at that look at that this is the same it's the same thing it's just because bad it can happen bad it can happen good so it's gonna be compound over every day and just build it to something more it's gonna be a big ass wave it's gonna be like a like imagine like goku dropping you like goku dropping like a spirit bomb type shit it's crazy right <laughs> so you're gonna have that and you're gonna realize in like the like yeah in the year like how drastically life changed you're gonna be like damn like not even a full year you know four months now six months now you know you're like damn i'm already I'm, you know, I'm up where I'm supposed to be at or I'm kind of already surpassed it don't don't get comfortable that doesn't mean get comfortable that means you keep going um imagine that you know and you're only at an 8 out of 10 so imagine you're like, let's say oh, I'm at 8 out of 10 this is how it feels like I'm comfortable I can kind of create how I want to do um I wanted to you know right now like me like I'm like in my my, my part of me like, like a more of a studio type environment so I can create more I have more content here and everything and it's becoming slowly over time like it's looking like that I'm just like yo like it's crazy how fast it started to move and I planned this out a while back ago but now that when I actually initiated it it's like awesome it's gone so what if you know you go beyond that you know 9 out of 10 you know, 10 out of 10 you know you're fully functional on all your levels of your life because you focus on each day for 365 days and it built into the life you imagine, you know, each and every single year, you literally wrote a story, a book about yourself, you know, every year you do that, you write some goals out every day, some more every, every year, and you live those, you're literally writing a story, you can look back on it, like, damn, I could do a tell it all book, like, my life was crazy, yeah, I was down bad, all I had was, like, I tell people sometimes, me and my boys say, all I had was me and my dick, <laughs> that's all you got. And you just out here down bad on your ass. It's like, shit. Just sitting in your thumbs, you know. And then, then you look back where you're at now. It's like, fuck, I came a long way. And you're proud of it. You should be damn proud of it. Especially, let's just see your listeners now. You're like, Eli, you know, keep talking your shit. You know, you're talking good gems. But I, I, I'm already surpassed this. You know, you need to catch up. I respect that. Because I know some people listening to this. Like, Yo, they've already been been at a four. Been at a three. Shit. Felt like they were at negative, you know. And now they've really had They're like, yo, I'm damn proud. You should be proud. No, I'm wrong with that. But I'm just saying, just don't ever get comfortable because you always do more. You always do better. There's always more you can do and you can pass on. So you literally wrote that story and now you um, you lived it, you know. And you, you see, like, that you know how you want to feel. You see how you were living, you know, from a six to a seven. You know, you see that shift change. And it's just crazy how you realize how drastic it was from, it's like a night and day. And you listen to this and, you know, you wanted to, you know, you wanted to change for better. And that's what it comes down to. You listen to this, but you like, you want to accept to be a five, keep being a five, keep being a six. But you got this far, you know, you want to be more than that. So now it's time to just change. So if you like that, if you like this episode, man, I appreciate your listening. If you like this episode, please, you know, drop a comment, like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got the link in the bio for my other, I'm, you know, Spotify, Apple Music and everything. But please, please, please give me some feedback, give me some remarks. I appreciate y'all. Y'all been doing great. Uh, let me know how y'all liked. Uh, more content coming soon. More episodes going to become more consistent. I might just start dropping. Not every day, but at least about four times a week for y'all. So I got y'all. But I have some more uh, guests too. Like just like, just, you know, boom, boom, boom. Knocking, just knocking shit out for y'all. Um, so thank you for listening. I mean, I'm just upside now. We all have started potential with us. All the stars in the universe are above us and the water is above us. All that that's living has starlight energy is found in us. So that means you have star energy, starlight potential in you. Do not let kill your light, do not let kill your shine. I appreciate y'all for listening once again. Thank y'all, man. Uh appreciate y'all. Love.